we would not be as successful as we are without all of, without all of you. So thank you so much for that. One of the things that I think we've learned is that battles don't stay won. It's no surprise now, a year in, that I look back and I think about how I ended up at the ACLU because I believe deeply in its mission. And I recognize that I've done significant work across most of the things that we would consider platform issues. I hope that more people than ever trust us for information and that we're a source of inspiration and strength for them. I want to be a part of this work because I was tired of seeing decisions made for us without us, and that is completely inappropriate and should not be a part of any activist community engagement work. They inspire me every day to just do things and learn new things and push my mind to go different places. And also my kids who, I just want to have a more fair and equitable future. I don't want them to fight for the things that I fought for as a child. And so I was inspired by uh, the ACLU and in its work to, to go to law school and um, fight for the rights of, of young people. The things that keep me going are the courageous and uh, clear-eyed clients. Um, I've learned so much from my clients uh, over the years. But I had a sign when I was teaching that was up in my classroom that said, democracy is not a spectator sport. I think it's, it's important and I'm so excited to work um, in partnership with Justice and the Community Engagement Department um, at, at building um, long-term power to, to dismantle um, those, those historically oppressive systems altogether. Um, my approach is very intersectional and human-based focus. I believe that you have to understand how race, gender, sexuality plays a part and how people are navigating through their communities. Um, and human focus first, because we have to care about the community if we're gonna advocate for it. Making sure we're centering impacted people and making sure their voices are the ones that we are listening to, but also respecting and making sure that what we're doing is not harming them. Our clients are not characters in a morality play. They're real people. Um, we have to guard against using litigants and find ways to tell their stories that are non-extractive and non-exploitative. And we once again invite you to come with us into 2023 and engage no matter how that is. There are many opportunities, there's space for everyone who wants to be involved.